there you have it. So let's factor this. I'm going to factor out the negative first. Um, so you get positive x squared minus 4x minus 5. We're going to spend some more time factoring, but remember that you want to know, okay, I'm going to multiply this times this, and these two numbers need to multiply to the negative 5 because I'm going to multiply the last terms together. So that could be a 5 and a 1, and the 5 has to be negative in order to get minus 5x plus 1x to get minus 4x. And so what that gives you is this. This is great for x-intercepts because if y equals 0, 0 equals negative x minus 5, x plus 1. Now, a negative number times something times some other number equals 0. So we, either, we know that either this number has to equal 0 because this, or this number has to equal 0. And so that's how we can find the x-intercepts. x equals 5, x equals negative 1. And that's what we got before, where it crossed at negative 1 and it crossed at 5. Um, so how do you find the vertex? Because again, vertex is one of the most important parts to be able to find in this. Um, plug in, if x and 5 and negative 1 are your x-intercepts because those are the easiest to find, you know that your axis of symmetry has to be right in the middle of those two. So average x-intercepts. So 5 plus a negative 1 divided by 2 is 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And that's the axis of symmetry. And so then plug in to find y. Um, y equals negative 2 minus 5. 2 plus 1, so that's negative 3, positive 3, times 3, equals 9. So negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, or times the negative, however you want to do it. So the vertex is 2, 9. So we've dealt with the different forms, and the exact same graph in the different forms, and so I wanted to just sum it up again, how we saw all of these different forms. The benefit of the standard form is C is the y-intercept when x equals 0. Because when you plug in x equals 0, that cancels out, that cancels out, and you just get C. To find the vertex, axis of symmetry is negative B over 2A. That finds where the middle is, and then plug in to find y. Vertex form. Benefit? Obviously, the vertex. We saw that the minus h moved at left and right, plus k moved up and down. Vertex is h, comma, k. We say minus h and plus k because it's the opposite for the h and exactly how we think about it for the k. Um, the vertex is hk. So, intercept form. The benefit, x intercepts. Set x minus p equal to 0, x minus q equal to 0, and you get what we had. So on this last one, 5 was an x-intercept, and negative 1 was an x-intercept, the opposite and the opposite. Um, where's the vertex? The axis of symmetry? The ax of sim is average 
of the x-intercepts. Find it. Average them together, add and divide by 2. Um, plug in to find y. Alright, one example from each to finish us out. 